All right, it's Saturday morning, Treasure Island, age group excellence among us, the professor from, uh, where are you professor at now? San Francisco State. San Francisco State, the great Joe Tooman. Sometimes you'll see him on Channel 5 KPIX in the Bay Area. How are you? And, and like I say, also a former pupil of this man here who got me ready for my first Alcatraz race back when we both had, you had darker hair and I had hair. 20 years ago, he came to me and said, I need help. I said, so do I. He's like, well, okay, what are we going to do? So, yeah, 20 years later, you're still doing it. You've done a lot. We're still here, yeah. We're still, yeah, this is fun. Good. So I'm enjoying this race a lot. Uh, this, is a, this is a different kind of course with the bike and the Criterium. And... Uh, that water is the only thing I'm not looking forward to because I'm just too skinny for it and yeah. it's cold. But this is a this is a good venue and this good. is actually nice weather yeah. out here. It's good yeah. good running weather. So what's next this year for you? Uh, half by man uh, next week. So I'm, this is a warm up for that. And then uh, I'm going back to Florida in November. Uh, I'm getting to that age where PRs aren't going to come anymore. But I'm going to yeah. see if I can crash 11 hours, yeah. uh, get under 11 hours at Florida. That nice flat course. So All right. cool. uh, any website uh, that you're working with? Well, uh, at KPIX, uh, we keep a political blog there, and I'll probably be blogging about some of this stuff uh, on that at uh, kpix.com. And we're staying active with the political stuff uh, for the news as well. Yeah. Yeah. And you got Roberta Gonzalez in there, and she just did Ironman Coeur d'Alene, so yeah. Channel 5 has quite a multi-sport group. We actually have a number of people who do who do that. And, and uh, the fun thing about triathlon, of course, is that it's a little bit infectious because when other people see you doing this, they realize they could do it too. And really, anybody can do this if you're just willing to put in the time. And uh, there are lifelong benefits that come from it, not the least of which are lifelong friendships. Absolutely. That is what it's all about, the friendships that you gather along the way. All right, Joe Tooman, great job. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank With me, the great Dave Slothauer. And Dave. Old. Yeah, Dave, Dave, old. He's no, great look, looking look, guy. When I started this sport, I had a full head of blonde hair. Yep. Now look at it. Yep. I, match, I match him. Yep. <laughs> now, he's been doing triathlon since 1980. Three. And this t-shirt is from 1992. Mike, Mike Pig, Mike Pig right there. We've got Scott Tinley somewhere over here. Tinley, Tinley right here. Scott Tinley, the legend. ST, how you doing, buddy? And uh, so we just have Tinley wetsuit right there. Bud Light Triathlon Series, the Coke red jersey. Jimmy, remember when Jimmy Riccatello and Mike Pig were always battling? The, the, those were some old timers. We're the guys that, we're the pioneers of this sport. We started, we put all our money into this sport, and now look what it is today. You got to thank us old timers for the money we put into this to get this sport going. Yep. Yep. And this is a shirt from uh, back in the old days when shirts had a little bit of personality to them. <laughs> what do you get nowadays? Just a generic uh, white shirt with a couple of, you know, text messages or something on here. Look at this thing. This is wild. And this was an expensive series. This was $60 back in the early 90s, and that was expensive back in the day, right? Remember we had $30 and $40 races. Yeah. And back then, you actually got food with your uh, registration fee instead of just a couple of strawberries and some water. <laughs> well, we're so glad you're here, keeping right. it alive. Thanks for the old timers, because without them, there'd be nowhere, nobody for the newcomers to go learn from. There you go, go dinosaurs. <laughs> that's us right here. You betcha. All right, that's it. Thanks, right. Dave. Okay. Thank you. All right, our first women's age group, 17 to 29. That wave underway in just a few minutes. Is this your first time? Yeah. yeah. Hey, we got a first timer. What's your name? My name's Hillary. Hillary Wick, yes. Hillary Wick. All right, your first time doing a triathlon ever. Yes. My trainer made me do it. Maureen, you know who you are. All right, great job, Maureen. Thanks for bringing her to our sport. So, you're going to have fun out there? I hope so. Yeah. I'm a little nervous, but I'll be fine. Yeah, you'll be fine. What's your What's your biggest uh, thing that's on your mind right now? Um, I don't know. I just hope I'm not the last person, but I probably will be, but it's okay. You won't be the last person. All right. Hopefully not. I don't know. You'll be rooting for me? Oh, yeah. We'll all be rooting for you for sure. All right. Get out of the water. Ride without uh, flat. No problem. You'll be at the finish line in a little bit. There you go. What does ride without flat mean? Uh, ride without uh, your tires going flat. Oh, okay. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> no problem. No problem. All right. Have fun out there. All right, for TriCal TV, we're going to send our men 44 and above our fourth wave next. In the next wave, what's your name, sir? Rick Norkin. Rick Norkin. How are you, sir? Very good. And uh, you've been here before? Uh, five or so times. And you're doing it without the wetsuit. You don't mind? Yeah, I don't have a wetsuit. You don't like them? No, they're, they're very confining. Oh, they do help you float. <laughs> 
they do help you float. Speaking of things floating, here comes another guy in the non-wetsuit division. Ricky looks kind of cold, Ricky. We'll warm you up. Well, I, have I have less flesh. He's always out there. Yeah, less flesh on him. Stand up straight. Yeah, Stand up straight, Ricky. Yeah, so we love our For TriCal TV, Eric Gilson. And you know, a lot of families out here racing with me, the great Nick Tuttle. And in the Nick Tuttle and Eric Gilson and Sandwich, the great <laughs> Marissa Ladybug Tuttle. Now, you, you did a great job today. Tell us about your race. Thank you. Well, I'm actually racing with a bit of an injury. So I came out and was hoping to finish and was able to push through. The swim was amazing amazing in the sunshine and uh, the water was warm it was great what was the injury um i've got some it band issues and some patellofemoral disorder so <laughs> that's lower leg stuff and along the side yep, just hanging out need a little pt and then i'll be back and run in for uh pacific grove there you go a little physical therapy so pt to pg you got it you got so it. physical therapy and then pacific grove uh so uh, who's your coach uh nick tuttle i heard he's a really tough coach he is. He whips me into shape. <laughs> nice. I like it. I like it. Good job. Thank you so much. All right, Nick, any thoughts on your lovely wife? She's just awesome. I mean, she signed up for this last minute and decided to do it. Here she is, ran the whole run with the injury, and it was exciting to cheer her on at the water's edge. I mean, as you know, it's awesome to be able to get on the mic and, and express your love publicly for your wife. But, yeah, PT to PG from EG. <laughs> We saw it on TriCal TV. Oh, Look at this guy, the next white rapper. I'm well trained by the best right here. <laughs> all right, the next Eminem. Great job. All right, the Tuttle family, all part of the family of Tri California. Oh, there we go. I got to push deeper. So how did you how did you enjoy the race? I liked it a lot. Is this your first one? Yeah. Awesome. Are you gonna come back? Yeah, I think so. Cool. Where are you from? Fresno. Yeah.